Hello and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program update news announcement thing. This one is kind of a strange announcement. The next version is going to be called 1.0, aka full release. KSP is moving out of early access, moving out of beta. To start, I'm going to try to keep my own opinion out of this and simply report on the news. But later on, I will perhaps make another video giving details into my own opinions about my own opinions on this news. The planned features list for this update is a fair bit larger than for previous updates and does not have a lot of pics showing these details, so apologies for lack of applicable screenshots. So let's jump right into it. There's going to be a new aerodynamic system, think like Ferrum Aerospace Research or NIR. This has been sorely lacking from KSP for pretty much ever, and this includes improvements with the drag and lift calculations, and possibly will lead to reentry heat becoming a thing. There's going to be an engineer report, which basically is a little window in the VAB or SPH that says if you've designed a craft that won't fly or has a ladder blocking Kerbals from exiting the cockpit or command pod. They're kind of vague on this, but it's supposed to be fairly complex and advanced. Time warp 2. Think Kerbal alarm clock's capability to warp to a certain time, but stock. There's also going to be deep space and planetary refueling, aka the resources system that we were promised back at 0.18, reusing some of those assets but with a less complicated system behind it. They haven't really released details on this yet. There's going to be new landing gear and wings, including a Mark II and Mark III landing gear. There's going to be an ability for Kerbals to climb on things. Again, kind of vague, but I'm guessing it's like ladders without always needing a ladder. It's kind of hard to tell what's up with that. There's going to be female Kerbals. There's going to be an economic system rebalancing. Based on all the data they've been collecting about how people have been playing thus far, this also includes some rebalancing of part stats as well as the pricing. There's going to be new contracts to ease the difficulty curve and space tourism, which I'm really excited to hear about. There's also going to be the tier zero build buildings, which will be updated versions of the barn previously mentioned. They're overhauling the sound and making a lot of bug fixes. Uh, you know, the first release they're supposed to fix all the bugs. Of course, you can't get everything, but they're going to try. There's also going to be procedural fairings. Note that they have not explicitly said that these will be in 1.0. They just said that they will exist in stock Kerbal Space Program. That's all I'm going to say for now, except that this news has met with a combination of extreme joy from a lot of people and several people voicing grave concerns over the release schedule this has become and how Squad has reversed a lot of their statements since 0.90's release. I share concerns that the game is not necessarily ready for a 1.0 release, but let's be clear, the game is fairly close to what Squad originally planned it to be. A lot of people may have wishes and ideas for much more to be added, but there's a limit to how much they can be reasonably expected to put into the game. It's been in development for quite a long time, and they need to have their release at some point. Also, quick note, Squad has said way back when they first mentioned multiplayer would be coming officially, that it would be coming after the 1.0 release as a free update. Do not freak out that it hasn't been included in the above list of updates. It isn't supposed to be here yet. It isn't done yet. Also, if you're wondering why we don't have a stable version of 64-bit KSP for Windows, that is due to problems with Unity, which are out of Squad's control, and they're waiting for a proper release of Unity 5, and then they can hopefully upgrade KSP to Unity 5. Five, which will then allow it to become stable. As always, thanks for watching, or in this case, mostly listening. See you in space. Or was it 0 0.19? But let's be clear, the game is fairly close to what Scott, what Scott,